Hey everyone, it's MGS giving you another part of my Yu Gi Oh! Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play. And today, uh, look at it. Surprise, surprise. I unlocked Maximilian Pegasus after all, after having pulled Bright Castle spell card in the last video. So, if you want to unlock Pegasus, uh, you can either pull the Toon World card or the Bright Castle card. But today, I want to battle Truesdale first. You must be a pretty tough duelist to face me. Let's see what you've got. So, Alright, I'll start off the duel. So I'll be starting off with seven tools. Magic Thorn. And Cy- and no, no, not Cyber Jar. Wabaku face down. And my Needle Worm face down defense. Now let's see what Gramps got. Oh, it looks like he's gonna take a defensive approach to start off with as well. Fine by me, I will summon my Vorse Raider. And I'll set Rush recklessly face down. Now Vorse Raider, attack his defense monster. So I attacked his big guy, and with big guy he gets to change the order of the next five cards in his deck. Which is a pretty good effect monster, and I should know because I have big guy in my deck. So he summoned a mystical elf in attack mode. Why? I don't know, it only has 800 attack points. But he, and nevertheless, he went for the attack on my needle, needle worm. So now he loses the top 5 cards from his deck. So big guy's effect uh, meant nothing after that. So let's see what he lost. He lost some pretty good cards, not bad. I'm gonna activate Delinquent Duo. The cost of a thousand life points, I get to... Um, well I don't get to use it anymore because Imperial Order has been activated. Should I? Shouldn't I? I'll just use it. Seven Tools of the Bandit to chain and destroy Imperial Order. So now I get to um, discard the cards in his hand. I randomly discarded one and he had to randomly discard one. So there goes his left arm of the Forbidden One so he can no longer summon Exodia. That was a great strategy. Force Raider attack his mystical elf. And why not? I'll increase Force Raider strength to rush recklessly. So I can inflict even more damage. Oh, why didn't I activate this when I um, had him discard some cards? I should have done that earlier, but this is a new strategy I'm working on. So that's why I added it to my deck. So it's uh, Truesdale's turn. And he activates Swords of Revealing Light. So I have no magic jammer, so I have to uh, let that pass. Since I don't want to put Cyber Jar on the field, so I'll end my turn. Just gotta wait out these three turns of Swords of Revealing Light. So once again, I end my turn without playing any cards. Now he activates Raigeki, which is bad because he destroys my Vorse Raider. Now he flipped up his Sang and is gonna attack me directly. It's only a thousand, so I'll let that go. It's not worth worth it to use Wabaku on just a Sangin. So I have Monster Reborn, and let's see if there's uh, some good choices for me to Reborn. From the looks of Truesdale's deck, he has weak monsters. And the best I can Reborn is Force Raider, so I'll just uh, I'll wait a little a while longer to do that. For now, I'll summon my Mooka Mooka, and I'll end my turn. So now Swords has expired, and now my Mooka is stronger than his Sangin. So now I'll summon my Gemini Elf to the field in attack mode. But first I'll have Mooka attack and destroy his Sangin. But he activated me.
mirror force that destroys both of my monsters. So at least I still have uh, Wabaku face down to protect me if, if when he attacks my life points. So it's time to activate Wabaku. So I won't take any damage this turn from his attacks. Gotta hand it to Truesdale, he's playing a pretty good duel right now. So I'm gonna uh, set Cyber Jar, I feel now is the time to, to use it. I wanna destroy all of the monsters that he has on the field. I thought he was gonna summon a third one, so that's uh, whatever's. So he attacked and destroyed Cyber Jar, so there goes his monsters. But now he can special summon more monsters. So I saw that he has a Blue Eyes in his hand. And he set Penguin Soldier and one of Exodia's right arms. Let's see what I can special summon. Magician of Faith. And that's about it. So he got summoned Skull from his deck thanks to Witches of the Black Forest's effect. And thanks to Sangin's effect he got Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts. So now, let's see. I'll just activate Raigeki to clear the field of his monsters, but he uh, activated Magic Jammer, but thanks to my Magic Thorn, when he discards a card, he loses 500 life points, so thank, thank you, Magic Thorn. Alright, so now I will set Magic Jammer. I'll activate Gravekeeper's Servant. And next, I flip up my Magician of Faith, so I can get my Rageki back, so that I can use it. I activate Rageki once again, destroy all three of your monsters. And that's not all. I sacrifice my Magician of Faith, so I can call forth my Summon Skull. And I'm not done yet, I activate Monster Reborn! And with this, I will bring back... Let's see, I think I'll just resurrect my Mooka, since my hand is um, pretty good as far as the amount of cards is concerned. So, well, not bad, I, it has 1500. Oh yeah, that's right, I used a lot of my cards already. So, Mooka, attack! Now summon Skull, attack directly. So he's one attack away from defeat, so let's see if Truesdale can uh, make a comeback. So he activates another Swords of Revealing Light. Now I'll activate Magic Jammer, so I will discard my Penguin Soldier. So I think that was his last attempt at trying to win this duel, so that went out the window. So now it's time to finish him off. Summon Skull, attack! And I've defeated Solomon Truesdale. Your decks got hard, I see a will to win. You must have made a very tough opponent for you. Alright, so now I will select the Gold Millennium Puzzle Pack again. Alright, I got Widespread Ruin, which is a very powerful trap card. When your opponent acti when your opponent attacks with a monster, destroy his or her attack position monster with the highest attack. Oh right, I got Harpy's Feather Duster. So I love the pools I got out of this. So I'll definitely add Widespread Ruin and Harpy's Feather Duster to my deck. But that I'll do off screen, so thank you all for watching my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play. Comment, like, sub, and in the next part I'll probably duel against Pegasus, so stay tuned.